I don't agree with it. I think it's horse shit. Let's uh, let's uh, just just uh, let's just have an example here. Let, I'll, I'll break this down for you guys who like fire reflectors and think that that shit works. Okay, so let's break this down real quick. All right, we got us a blank slate here. This is going to be very rough. All right, this is very rough, but we're going we're going to try to do something here. All right, so we have. We have our fire pit right here, okay? We're going to draw a little fire pit here on the Huntsman Alp, or on the, on the Huntsman stream. So bear with me here, guys. Just bear with me. So here's our fire. Oh, Huntsman is a motherfucking artist tonight. Watch it, Joey. Watch it. Huntsman doing artwork on a live stream. Here's our fire. All right? We got our fire. Over here is our shelter. Everybody with me so far? This is the shelter. This is the fire. Break this down for you kids in the back. All right. I, I, I got to bring the chat down a little bit so it's not in the way. Shelter, fire. Next up, our fire reflector, which is what they normally build back here. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Are you with me so far? Now we're going to talk science here. This is the setup. Now, there is a point to this setup. You got an, a, a nice little uh, barrier over here, the psychological barrier, it, between this nice safe space of your shelter and this acts as a wall blocking off the wilderness. All right. Now, here's the thinking. Here's what they think happens. We're going to do this in orange, okay? Here's what they think happens. They they believe that heat from the fire will go over here to the wall and bounce back. Oh, we got to go the other way. We got to turn that around. Sorry about that. Bounce back to their shelter. This is the thinking, right? Is everybody with me? This is how a fire reflector is supposed to work. Yes? This is how they think a fire reflector works. Here's the problem with this theory. Heat rises. Which completely makes this dynamic right here, because heat rises, it completely makes the dynamic, the thermodynamic of this right here, irrelevant. This no longer applies. It does not work. Thermodynamics says that this setup does not work why because you you honestly believe that the radiant heat is going to come over here most of which gets absorbed by the wood and still have enough energy 
to come back and break through this primary heat column without going straight up. It's never making it back over here. It's never making it back over there. It's never getting past the fire. The only space that you're heating up with a fire reflector is the space between the fire reflector itself and, and the primary heat column. You're only heating this area, not this area, you dumb shits. You're not heating this area over here at all. You're only heating the space between the fire and the reflector. That's where all the heat's trapped because of that primary heat column. You're not going to get radiant heat off of this wall. It's not going to pass back through the fire and magically make it to you. It doesn't have enough power. It's pointless. It's a waste of time and resources. The only thing that this gives you is a psychological advantage. You think it's warmer. Therefore it is. Class dismissed. You're allowed to disagree. You want to put wind into the equation? Let's put wind into the equation. Which way is the wind blowing? This way? How does it work? How does wind make it make the fire reflector work? Now here's the other factor. Let's take the wind back out of the equation. You got your fire reflector up. So we're not talking about radiant heat. Let's talk about drafting. You put a reflector up to block the wind. Let's put the wind back here. We're going to block the wind so it doesn't hit the fire, right? So you put this reflector up. Guess what happens? Air cannot flow into the fire from this direction anymore. So air is going to start flowing into that fire from every other fucking direction. Wrong one, Steve. You're bringing all this cold air down into this point all over here because you created a vacuum that needs to be filled. That spelled right? <laughs> no. You created a vacuum here. Hot air rises. You put a, a fire reflector up over here. You created a vacuum. That vacuum cannot pull air in from the opposite direction. So it's going to pull cold air in down from above, from behind your shelter, and from off both sides of the fire. You're actually cooling the space down because cold air is rushing in as that hot air is going up.
Are we making sense? Heat rises from the pri from the fire itself, creates a vacuum around that fire pit. Because the heat's rising, it's going to pull in air from all other different directions. If you put a fire reflector over here, it can't pull it in from away from your shelter. So, you're bringing cold air in off, of, off sides and from above your shelter that's dropping down in to fill this vacuum. This is the vacuum right here. Oops. You've created a vacuum by putting that sh that reflector up. So your fire is going to suck air from both sides and from behind your shelter. Because there's a vacuum over here, you're going to be drawing more air in through the back side of your shelter trying to fill in all of this space. Does it make sense now? Now, let's back all of this up. Okay, we're going to back it all up and take the reflector out. And look at the thermodynamic without the reflector. So here's our setup without a reflector. Same principle applies. Heat rises. Here's your primary heat column. Let's make that red. Creating the vacuum. Now, where is the source of fresh air to fill in that vacuum now? It's going to follow the path of least resistance. Your shelter is the fire reflector. Without a barrier over here, cold air is going to come in to fill... Oop, get the right one, Steve, you dumb shit. Cold air is going to come in to fill the vacuum caused by the fire. The fire is not going to be able to produce enough BTUs to stop the cold air. So what comes through is warmer air than what's on the other side of the fire because the fire heated it up somewhat, but not a lot. Class dismissed. I'm gonna send the I'm gonna clip this out and I'm gonna send it over to Sean and see what he thinks. Any thoughts? Reflector or no reflector?
That's a good lesson, y'all. Free of charge. Wasted energy and resources, exactly. Aside from the psychological. The back wall of the shelter is the reflector. Oops. Why? The heat's trapped. The heat will bounce back. Some of it will bounce back, but you're heating this space right here. This is the space that you want to heat. This is the space you want to heat. You don't want to be fucking around over here. Are we making sense? If you have a back wall to your shelter, whether it's a lean-to or anything else, the shelter is the reflector. If you put anything on the other side of the fire, it does absolutely fucking nothing. Now, to add to the mystery that is thermodynamics, if you put in a layer of clear plastic right here and everybody knows this right the greenhouse effect this is radiation this Jesus Christ, Steve. Just stop. Radiant heat is radiation. No. Mylar blankets are shit. Well, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute, Frontier. Let me, let me, let me f finish this first. Okay, radiant heat is radiation. If you put the, the plastic in here, the clear plastic, it has to be clear. It traps the radiation. Inside the build. That's how your super shelter works. You're filling your shelter with radiation. Which is what makes you warm. That's how radiation works. It, ex it excites the air particles and makes them hot. That's what heat is. It's radiation. You're making a radiation trap by putting the clear plastic over it, causing the greenhouse effect. Mylar is shit. Why? The Mylar emergency blanket. Mylar emergency blanket works on the same principle that we're showing right here on the, the, on the screen. Mylar reflects only radiant heat mylar 
reflects only radiant body heat, radiation coming off of your body. Your body does not produce enough radiation to warm you up inside of a Mylar blanket. The entire business of Mylar blankets is bullshit. Do not buy a Mylar blanket thinking that you can wrap yourself up in it and it will save you in the wintertime. It will not. Your body does not produce enough radiation to be able to warm you in a Mylar blanket. The only use for a Mylar blanket is back here. If you put Mylar on the back side, it will reflect the radiant heat coming from a fire, but it will not be able to reflect enough radiation off of your body to keep you warm in the wintertime. You will not survive inside of a Mylar blanket. You'll freeze to death. Mylar is to be used as a reflector, a radiation reflector. Put it on the back of your shelter and it will, it, it will superpower your super shelter. But if it's not in the back of your shelter, no help at all. Carrying that with you, thinking that you can just wrap yourself up in a, in a thin piece of mylar and it will save you in the winter will get you killed. Think about radiation, thermodynamics, and some fucking physics. Don't believe everything you see on YouTube. Oh, but that's what they market it as, Frontier. That's the problem, is the market. The market will always have the, have some uh, city slicker little prick wrapped up in a Mylar blanket on the, on the, the packaging. Never wrap up in Mylar. It will not help you. Put it on the back wall. It can help you if you put it inside of your shelter. It will not help you if you use it as a blanket. They shouldn't even call it a blanket. Your body just doesn't produce enough radiation to, to, to make it work. Your campfire does. It's all the marketing. The marketing is wrong. He might not be behind. You, we could put up a, uh, we could we could put our fire reflector back up so we don't have to worry about the boogeyman. Have we learned anything here tonight? This is why I don't put up fire reflectors. I am the boogeyman. Yeah. It's not an emergency blanket. It's not a blanket. It's a reflector, but it's not a blanket. That's why I've never built one. Now you know. I'm glad we got that on film, and I'm glad we could we could actually demonstrate it. I mean, we could go back and look at that, and we could debate it later. But I'm glad we could actually demonstrate it on a live stream, and actually see what I'm saying, you know what I mean?